So when a couple of weeks ago we started talking about how I prompt in mid journey and what the what the structure really looks like, and I gave a full breakdown of how I prompt engineer for the type of imagery that I I create, and a sample of those prompts are what are within those prompt packs that I was mentioning a few minutes ago that are for sale on martialartistry.com. Those are really a good example of how I structure my prompts and they keep each of these elements within them. So the first is media quality and for media quality that's me articulating what type of image that it's going to be. Are we going to do an award-winning artwork or a cinematic scene. It's me giving the command of, hey, I'd like to start here. The next thing that I get into is the image type. And you heard me just a minute ago say artwork. Um, that's the one that I use most often. I'll start my prefix of my prompt as an award-winning artwork or an award-winning portrait or an award-winning close-up. This is the way that I'm, I'm articulating to mid-journey because I'm a mid-journey user. Here is where I want you to start with, in terms of the image type and the media quality. Let me know if that makes sense in the comments. The next thing that I get into is a description. Hey, is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a thing? This is the way that I'm able to begin to identify the, the detail, the level of detail of what kinds of things that I really want to be included in this image that we're trying to generate. The next thing that I get into is an art style. Now, I have a couple of videos where I've outlined in this part of the process, I am not restricting that art style to any specific section of the prompt. I may put it in the beginning, I may put it in the middle, I may double or triple it up. I will put in the styles of, I don't know, Dreamcore, uh, I, I don't know, uh, you could, you could, uh, you could go Dreamcore, Dark Synth, and Deconstructivism. And you can you could say in the styles of all three of those and give either chat whatever your image generator is the creative freedom to begin to explore those art styles or aesthetics that way you get a more unique tailored result it doesn't look like everybody else's it doesn't um, look blah or bland let me know if that makes sense from there i this next section i also do the same thing it's not really one specific area of the prompt where I'll add this, but I will add lighting conditions in a, a variety of different places for a variety of different reasons. Uh, the way that I explain it is I have things that I want to be in the foreground, I have the main subject, and then I have the background. So I want lighting in each of those different areas so that I can draw attention to the foreground and the main subject and the background all simultaneously. So with the lighting conditions, I would encourage that you don't leave it to any one specific section, but you really explore creatively a wide variety of different art uh, lighting styles in different areas in the prompt. I think that'll help you get a little more realistic result. It helps me get a little closer to photorealism um, when I'm prompt engineering. The next thing that I'll add, and I'm going to bundle these three together because the more that I'm doing this, the more I'm finding these three work hand in hand simultaneously. It's going to be a camera and it's going to be a lens. And those three things will allow me to tell Mid Journey or command Mid Journey. I want it in a more realistic style. It's less of a creative illustration or anything of that nature. It is more geared towards, I want something that looks real in these art styles, if that makes sense. So the cameras and the lenses, really allow me to make it look more real and the shot type gives me variety in what the main subject is how they're positioned whether they're 
really close, really far away, whatever that looks like. Um, so that really is the quick and dirty breakdown of my prompt structure.